road from London to Singapore, more than 18,000 miles by Land Rover. The Oxford and Cambridge Far Eastern Expedition set up a new record. And not only a record of enormous distances, but of a journey through every kind of terrain that Europe, the Middle East and Asia could offer. Normal 86-inch wheelbase Land Rover station wagons painted dark blue and light blue in friendly rivalry, with 50-gallon extra fuel tanks built in. Members of the Oxford and Cambridge teams take over at the Rover Works. In a few hours, they will be in London, and from there, these friendly rivals start out on their long trek. 20-odd miles across the English Channel by air freighter. Apart from some ferrying of rivers, the crossing of the Straits of Dover and of the Bosporus are the only times these two sturdy vehicles will get a lift between London and Singapore. Smooth going on the German autobahn between Stuttgart and Munich. Road surfaces they will look back on with envy long before they have left behind the soil of Europe. In Greece, for instance, east of Salonika, and still well within the boundaries of Europe, the Land Rovers and their crews already have a taste of rough riding under a hot sun. Now into Asia, the great water wheel at Hama in Syria, turned by the river Orontes since the days of the Romans. Onward from Damascus for the 600-mile desert crossing to Baghdad, and for company, one of the incredibly tough Nairn buses which follow the pipeline route from Syria to the capital city of Iraq. Persia behind them and the Indian Taj Mahal built by a Mughal emperor in memory of his wife. Many rivers to cross, not the least of them the sacred Ganges. Land Rovers are loaded aboard country boats to make the crossing and drift a little downstream till they come to a road on the far side. The road that will carry them on towards Darjeeling and Burma. Mountainous Indian roads, and in that wild country, the temples of strange gods. But stranger than any of these is the Stilwell Road, which will take them on from India into Burma. General Stilwell's American armed engineers supervised the building of this road in 1944 using Chinese labor. Since the end of the Second World War, this great road, which joins the Burma Road, is a back door to China and has fallen into disuse. Barriers have been left across it. This one has been left here by the headhunters to prevent their horses from straying. Bridges, once built to take an army but now rotting, must be tested inch by inch before being entrusted with the Oxford and Cambridge Land Rovers. of Burma, where armies fought a decade ago, must still be treated with caution. There is still the risk of ambush. Not all the bridges have stood the test of time on this unused road. No wonder it takes a couple of hours to travel 15 miles. a decade, no white men have visited Xingguiang, which was once a busy American Air Force base. The way ahead, wild country calling for compass bearings. And always rivers to cross, rivers and streams without names. 
Waters, bridged once years ago by men of the 14th Army, who were sometimes called the Forgotten Army. surely is the world's most completely forgotten road, taxing the ingenuity of man and the sturdy qualities of the machine. They built the Lido Road, as it is called, with deep foundations. Foundations which have kept the jungle back throughout all these years. They call this a sign of civilization. A river they do not have to tackle on their own. There is a native ferry that does not mind taking on a Land Rover. But this is not a cushy job after all. Two feet of water and not enough to take a loaded ferry. So the Cambridge Land Rover has to swim for it. Oxford Maroon and Cambridge, at a safe distance, come to the rescue by bringing into use the drum winch with a three-ton horizontal pulley, which is fitted to both these Land Rovers. to Mandalay, an easier task for the Land Rovers, and a view of one of the sensational engineering feats of World War II. 